Nick Ladmore here with Connect Lax. We have MD Whitlow of Blue Star. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. All right, no problem. So, uh, wanted to come here and uh, you know talk about Blue Star a little bit and you know all the great things you guys do. Um, you know, first question is I want to know you know what led you to start the the club lacrosse team, Blue Star. Um, to the club lacrosse scene, I've been in it for a while. Um, certainly, there's a need for a higher level of coaching and commitment by coaches and, and families and, and, and young athletes. Um, you know, I was in it before I think there was a real scene um, as it is now. Um, I've seen the, the evolution of the, of the space, if you will. Sure. Um, and uh, I think there needs to be leaders in it um, that are doing it the right way. Um, that's one of the things that at Blue Star we are committed to um, is leading. Um, and doing things the right way. And I think there are a lot of people out there that are doing it the right way. Um, you know, we're a kid-based program, you know, development, fundamentals, um, you know, and a high level of play. Um, and I think at the end of the day, it, it comes down to, you know, value-based, character-based, ethic-based, uh, you know, skill and fundamentals um, being developed and the game being taught and respected and, and, and things of that nature. Absolutely. I, you know, and you touched a lot of the things um, that I was going to ask the next question, but you know, obviously there's a ton of club teams out there and, you know, parents or players are trying to decide, you know, which one in their area should they choose. You know, what would you say are some qualities that parents and players should be looking for when they're choosing a club team? Um, you know, it's tough. There are so many club teams out there now. Um, for parents and kids, I think it's a process that they have to share in together. Um, I think there's a big opportunity sure. there. Um, that a lot of families might be missing on um, in discussing that and understanding the decisions that are being made um, and how to make them. Um, you know, lacrosse is a game of decision making and, um, you know, to do that as a family sometimes might help in the education process. I think there's a teachable moment there. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as, as healthy uh, clubs, development, fundamentals, um, balance. Um, things at Blue Star that we stress are commitment to school programs, um, you know, the sanctity of the spring, um, and, you know, other sports. Um, you know, we, we encourage our players to, to play other sports. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage and seek out our players that might want to play with us when they're still involved in a, in a school sport, whether it's hockey or uh, football or soccer in the fall and a playoff run. We say, you know, hold on, just wait a second, your commitment first and foremost needs to be to your school team. And mm -hmm. um, there'll be plenty of opportunities for exposure um, down the road. And athletic exposure is athletic exposure. Athletic growth is athletic growth. Um, emotional maturity is emo emotional maturity. Um, and that comes with playing multiple sports and being in those moments and in those games. Sure, yeah, creating well-rounded well player, um, you know, increasing lacrosse IQ and whatnot, right? Absolutely, you know, right. sports IQ, lacrosse IQ, all that goes into it. Great, great. So, you know, obviously I'm sure you guys have a ton of players come in and you know, want to join your guys' program, but, um, you know, what do you guys look for in a player um, that you want to be a part of Blue Star? Um, you know, our evaluation process is pretty straightforward. You know, tryouts, um, you know, you look for what's going on in the field, obviously, but you watch between the plays. Um, mm -hmm. You try to hear the conversations that the kids are having. You look for body language and posture and um, you know little telltale signs that, that a kid's really into it, uh, that he wants to get better, that, that the character side of things are there. Uh, on the same side, you, you, you do analyze a little bit the family. Um, you know, is it a good family? Is it a healthy family that brings to your program you know, support and balance mm -hmm. um, you know, so things don't get out of balance? Um, you know, Skill, certainly, um, but you know, as coaches, we can teach skill. Uh, it's hard to teach the character element. It's hard to teach the the athletic element. Um, mm -hmm. So you analyze that in tryouts pretty carefully. Yep. Yeah, that's great to hear. And intangibles. We're looking for a lot of that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So the recruiting process is constantly evolving. Um, you know, at a rapid rate. You know, how have you, as a club director, um, you know, has your role changed in the recruiting process? Um, you know. Like I said at the beginning of the interview, I mean, it's, it's, it's evolved and it's the health and well-being of the kids has to be, you know, paramount. And, 
you try to get parents and families and players directed in the right way so that they're making good choices and going to schools and seeking out schools where they're going to be a good fit, mm -hmm. um, both athletically, socially, um, you know, and, and academic piece can't be stressed enough. I mean, it's, it's, it's where you're going to go to school and, um, you know, that has to be the priority is the academics. Um, so as a club director, you know, you, you try to handle the recruiting process and the exposure element as well as you can. Um, different families handle it in different ways, some very well. And you hope that those are your leadership families and, and some families handle it somewhat poorly. Um, mm -hmm. And you try to, you know, hold their hand through it a little bit and tell them, look, you know, you're, you're not going about this the right way. If your desired result is your son in this case, uh, you know, your son's success, you need to look at the fundamentals in place here, which are academics. Where's he going to school? You know, the lacrosse piece of it, as we've found over the years, will take care of itself. You know, the exposure element's there. The yeah. reputation element from the Blue Star side is there. Um, you know, we have a certain reputation that we want to uphold. Um, and we're very careful about that. We're very honest with college coaches. We're very respectful of their role in the process, but we're also very honest and respectful with our own families. And we really try to hammer home to the families and the athletes that it's the right fit that matters. Yeah. Um, you know, having goals is great. Striving is great, but, um, you know, to be honest and, and genuine and, and, and self-aware of where your best fit is going to be, is a pretty honest part of the of the process that you know it needs to be stressed by us as coaches and as what I think is leaders in this space. So actually leads me to the next question. Uh, what are some of the common questions college coaches are asking you about your players? Um, the questions that the college coaches are asking are pretty common. Um, the academic piece comes up right away. Um, the character piece comes up right away. The family piece comes in. You know, is this a kid we want in our locker room? Is this a family we want in our program? Sure. Um, what are the other litmus tests for, for, you know, success at the college level? Success in another sport's usually right there. Um, you know, the specialization of, of lacrosse players works sometimes, but, in, you know, the overall picture is that that athlete that's a surefire high level lacrosse player that's going to go on to play in college is just naturally stepping onto another field in another sport or another court or stepping onto the ice and he's successful um, he's a good teammate um, he's a contributing player his athletic sense his athletic IQ is high um, his sense of team and teammate and selflessness is high yeah. um, you know, so those are the questions that they ask, and, and it's usually straightforward. Um, you know, having done this for a long time, I think we skip over a lot of the questions um, with a lot of the relationships that we have, you know, with the college coaches. Um, you know, and we cut right to the chase. Um, the college coaches know when they see the athlete and they watch him play, sure. whether he has the athleticism and the skill sets to be successful for them. Mm -hmm. It's the other pieces that come into question. That's where we become integral in the process so that we can tell them what they can't see. What, how is this young man off the field? How is this young man in the classroom? Th those are the things that, that they're coming to us to ask, and those are important questions. Um, and we feel that our reputation is placed you know, perfectly to answer those questions on it, honestly and candidly. Absolutely. Um, you know, what advice would you give parents and players going through the recruiting process? Because, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of information out there and it's, you know, hard for parents and players to digest, you know, what high level advice would you give to them? The best advice I can give to any players, families that are going through the recruiting process is to definitely keep it in perspective, um, to not let the you know, the recruiting process, your perception of the recruiting process, the internet, the misinformation and disinformation that you're receiving, define who you are as a person or as an athlete. Um, a lot of times young guys get caught up and families get caught up in, in reading blogs and reading things and looking for 
reassurement of, of, the, of themselves in the process. And that, that's a mistake. You know, if, if, if they work hard, the intangible gifts are there. Um, if they work hard and play hard and create the relationships and, and, and you know, go and play with their friends and have fun and, and travel with their families and get windshield time and stay in hotels and go to these events and play hard, they're going to get the exposure. The exposure element's there yeah. if you're with a reputable program like Blue Star. Um, it, it's just good players are good players. Good people are good people. Um, you know, as far as navigating the recruiting process, you can't let it define you. Um, you have to take control of it. If you work hard, play hard, do well in school, take care of your business off the field, the recruiting process will take care of itself. And it's that simple. Yeah, I think that's great advice. And, uh, you know, just especially talking to parents, you know, that's uh, things that I think really help comfort a lot of people. One other thing is, you know, what is the mission of Blue Star? You know, what, what would you guys say that it is? The overall mission of Blue Star is, is simple. It's to develop players, um, to develop players on and off the field, you know, to give families, you know, a good product where they can bring their sons, have great coaching, be in a healthy, balanced environment where we're stressing other sports, we're stressing school teams, but still we're providing a high level of development, education, coaching, box lacrosse with Coach Hopper, mm -hmm. clinics, shooting, finishing, stick skill development, and that all starts you know, down in third and fourth grade. And I don't think you have to start in third and fourth grade, um, but it helps. Um, I personally didn't even start playing lacrosse until I was a freshman in high school. Oh, wow. um, but you know, if the athleticism's there, the, you know, the mission of Blue Star is to provide you know, a really high-end, high character-based development program where kids can develop into young men, uh, the character piece is huge, um, and you know we want to have a positive effect uh, on, on these young men and these young men who are in our program. We spend so much time with them, you know that they they do end up meaning a lot to you know myself, Coach Green, Coach Hopper, and all the other coaches. I mean it's 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 um, it's very important to us that that piece of it because we do work very hard together. Um, and at the end of the day, you know it's it's about development. And, and reaching uh, yeah. reaching potential. Great stuff, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank for you very us. much. We and, appreciate uh, it. Looking forward to seeing you guys play this year.